Hello! Hello, how are you? Oh my goodness, it's so good to see you! Thank you for coming back to my laboratory! It's so wonderful to have you here! I'm just... This isn't the experiment we were going to do! Oh. Okay, here we go! Brilliant! It all got tidied away! And now I've got new work to do! My name's Dr. Charlie Highmarch, and I'm an actual mad British scientist! I would like to do an experiment with you today, and it's an experiment that you can follow along with at home. I'd like to find out how much air my lungs can hold. And I've made a protocol here so that you can follow at home. So for today's experiment, we're going to need a large bowl. We're also going to need a two litre empty bottle. We're going to need some plastic bendy drinking straws a sharpie or some way that I can mark the bottle and we're going to need some sort of way that I can measure water. Now you might be able to use a measuring jug, I've got a special science one here. Now the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to take this bottle which is filled with water and you might need a little bit of help with this because what I want to do is I want to turn it upside down, I want to put it into the water and very carefully I want to undo the bottle. I'm going to undo it. Wow, that's cool! Look at that! That's brilliant! I've got the full bottle of water, the cap is open at the bottom, and it's sitting in the other pot of water. And what I want to do is I want to get my bendy drinking straw, and I want to very carefully put it down through the water and up into the bottle. So, let's have a look. Oh, it's tricky. It's tricky. I've done it! Right, the next thing I need to do is I need to take the biggest breath I possibly can and breathe in to the other end of the tube. And my air from my lungs is going to go and fill this tube. And that's going to be how I'm going to work out how much air I can hold in my lungs. So here we go. <sighs> I'm a monster! <laughs> if I try and do it with my, all my lungs, all of the water will come out. So I'll just give one quick puff. There we go! This was air was once in my lungs! That's brilliant! How much air was in my lungs? Well, I could take my Sharpie and I can measure a line. And you can see the line like this is here. So now I empty that out. Oh, this is a messy job, isn't it? Now, I can refill the bottle here and measure it and that tells me how much air I just blew into the bottle. So let's try doing that here. There we go. I filled it up to the line with water. Let's see how much air I breathed out. With that one big puff, that was nearly half a litre. And once you've done this experiment, you could repeat it and you could get a a younger brother or sister, or an older brother or sister, or a mummy, or a daddy to repeat it, and you can compare their lung size. And if you could catch your cat and your dog, you could try them too. And then you could work out how much air you all can have in your lungs. And healthy lungs means a healthy life.
Excuse me. Brilliant! Whoa! We've done a very good experiment there. We've measured the amount of air that you have in your lungs. That's fantastic. And now you can measure it for different people and you can compare it. And if you're really good, and maybe you get help from a parent or a teacher, you could maybe make a graph and plot those to show those differences. Well, thank you very much for coming and doing this experiment with me today. I really enjoyed having you in my lab again. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. Okay, we got it. That's good. <laughs>